Good morning. 6.30. Not sure what we're going to do today. I was thinking take you guys and uh, show you uh, some grocery prices in Vermont. Uh, got some dishes I got to do, a little bit of housework chores, and then I got to I gotta feed this right here. This is a buff tigger who begs for his morning soups. So we'll get him fed, get some dishes done, and then uh, we'll head out. Okay, I'm back. So we're headed out. Better we'd, uh, as I said earlier, stop at a grocery store. You guys can kind of see what the pricing is here. I'm sure it's relatively the same as most places in the country. Some stuff will be less, some stuff will be more, depending on what it is and how they have to um, ship it, truck it, all that stuff. I do have a new microphone. And I'm trying out so hopefully the audio is a little bit better so shopping in Vermont when you're living here or visiting there's not a lot of choices we have three grocery stores uh, Hannaford's Price Chopper and Shaw's there is a couple of organic stores uh, one place is um, natural provisions the other one is healthy living or as the locals call it wealthy living because their prices are extremely high we have one super Walmart in the entire state that I'm aware of and that is going to be up in Derby Vermont which is if you're in the Burlington Vermont Chittenden County area two hours to get to and there's a Target, only one that I know of in the state, and that's a very small Target in uh, the South Burlington, Burlington area. There's a Walmart in Williston and a Walmart in St. Albans. Those two Walmarts are about 30 miles apart. There is one mall that is the University Mall that is losing the Sears is closing that's in it I haven't been in that store in quite a or in the mall in quite a while I know there's a Kohl's there there's a JCPenney a tiny little food court and a few other stores um, leave me a comment down below if that's something you would like me to do a little walking tour just to show you um, how small it actually is we used to have a Burlington Town Center Town Mall on Church Street, but that is now a giant hole in the ground. It was bought a couple years ago. They had grand designs for a 10-story mixed commercial residential office space hotel, and that has sat as a big hole in the ground for two years. They've scaled it back, supposedly, from the developer. They're going to be starting construction here in the next year or two. From what I'm hearing, working in the construction supply side, is they're having a hard time getting an anchor store to come in and fill in that mall. 
with the regulations, the taxes, the kind of anti-development atmosphere that's in Vermont and Burlington, they're not they're they're not getting a, an anchor store to come in. So I think that. All right, welcome back. So we are at uh, Hannaford's. Looks to be very busy here today, so we will uh, we'll go in and uh, take a look, give you an idea of what they uh, what we have for selection and prices. So hang on while we walk.
to uh, local Hannaford's. Hopefully you were able to uh, get an idea of what groceries cost in this state and come in vacation or moving knowing what things are going to cost. Now I got to get inside the car because it is a balmy negative five today. It's a little cold. Until the next time guys, thanks for watching.